Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're gonna make this really, really quick. If you have the Rock Shock Silver 35 and you're a bigger rider like me, I'm six foot, 200 pounds, and you notice that the spring that comes in this coil fork is a little too soft, there's a reason because it really is. You can actually type in your serial number on the back of the Rock Shocks and they've got four different spring rates made for this fork. Unfortunately, you can't find a link to them on the website. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you which spring will work, how Cycling World helped us get this spring. They actually went out in their shop, measured it for us because we already purchased one spring after watching a video that was wrong. So the actual spring that you're gonna need is gonna be for a Rock Shock Domain 302 spring. This is a single spring. It goes on the left hand side and we got it in the extra firm. And we're gonna show you real quick. All you need is a couple of tools. You're gonna need a little bit of grease. You're gonna need a wrench that will actually fit the top cap of the fork. And let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna replace this and get it replaced. It's a nice rainy day here in East Texas. And what better way to go ahead and do some upgrades if you do have a rainy day. <laughs> so again, this top cap, it's the left side. I'm gonna zoom in on this guy so you guys can see what I'm doing. But this is a real, real simple, replace the spring, drop the new one in, and then you're gonna notice a tremendous difference. So we get this top cap off. You wanna just unscrew it gently and then you can see that the weight of the bikes actually pushed it on up but you're just going to reach in here you're going to grab your old one which we've already replaced this guys but it pulls out just like that put some grease on it and then you're going to drop it back in the old original fork and i'll zoom in on that so you can see it it's actually got some red and white paint it's probably made in taiwan as well but your biggest trick right here, if you can see the fork has kind of settled since we took this top cap off, to keep from cross-threading your cap, you're going to put it back on, raise the fork up a little bit, and that way it'll keep you from cross-threading. Again, the size of that top cap, you need a 24 millimeter. I will put a link to this blue tool that we're using. And like I say, the big deal on this, guys, is you don't want to cross-thread that. If it feels too tight, it's cross-threaded because this should be not much more than finger tight. And if you can turn it with your fingers and get it really good and started, you know it's not cross-threaded. That's the biggest thing with these little caps is making sure you don't cross-thread those fine threads on this thing. I'll put a link to the extra firm spring along with the link to this little tool. The Amazon affiliate link for this does give us a little bit of kickback, but it's only a $12 wrench, so it's not like we're gonna be getting rich off of it. I'm just trying to make your life easier. If you need to replace your spring to a different spring rate on your RockShox Silver 35, this is the only real tool you need. Guys, if you learned something from this video or if you found it helpful, please share it with other people. I know that we did go through an extensive deal where I watched a guy's video that was about 15 minutes long. He goes through the whole process, tells you what spring to get, and then when we got it here, it was the wrong size, wrong spring. You need the Domain 302 spring. Again, there'll be a link in the description. I hope each and every one of you have a blessed week and let's get outside and make something happen.